So dear student, I welcome you all. So today I am going to solve the problems on a simple stress and strain. So this is from the mechanics of solid or strength of material. So this problem I have chosen because I feel that this is be one of the important problem from the exam point of view. Okay, so it is an a circular bar, the given figure we are having and it is subjected to a load of 150 that is tensile load kilo newton and what must be the diameter of the middle portion so you need to calculate the diameter of the middle portion this one okay because the d1 and d3 are given so you need to calculate d2 the stress in the material that is given as 250 newton per millimeter square and also you need to find the total extension means total elongation of the bar also you need to calculate so take Young's modulus of the material. So entire material, the E is same. Okay, for entire bar, it means this bar is made with the same material. Okay, now the question is very clear. So this is an one of the uh, axial bar where the load applied along the axis, that is 150 kilo newton, is applied. So let us say take that is P as the load. So 150 kilo value 10 power of 3 newton. Okay, and uh, the stress in the material that is uh, sigma will take sigma t tensile stress that is 215 newton per millimeter square means stress in the material is will be same because uh, the material which is made by uh, all these bars are having same for example if you take this as element 1 element 2 and element 3 so all for the, all the three elements the material is be same so the stress which is producing within the material it will be same and also you need to find the total extension let us say total extension will be delta l okay that you need to find and also you need to find the diameter of the middle portion so diameter of the middle portion let us take d2 because if you take 1 2 3 so d2 will be the diameter for the middle portion will be d2 so these things you need to calculate okay so first uh, let me calculate the diameter for the middle portion because in the starting they ask for this okay so to calculate the diameter first let me say for uh, circular bar what will be the area formula anyhow it is mentioned it is a circular bar for circular bar area will be pi by 4 d square right now so if you say this is a2 and d2 because for the element 2 now what will be the equation here it will be d2 square and uh, now if you take this will be a2 into 4 in the denominator there will be pi okay so again if d2 under root of this a2 into 4 by pi i hope you understand this conversion later uh, what will be the area for the element 2 that you need to find out okay to calculate the area now we know that there is an a load and also stress okay so first uh, to calculate the diameter in this equation so you should also calculate the area first area of the element 2 what is the area of the element 2 we can calculate where as you know uh, the stress is equal to load by area this is an a universal formula for stress now if you calculate the area for 2 so the equation it will be p by stress load by stress okay so load is given as 150 into 10 power of 3 by stress is 215 so as i said the stress will be common for all the elements now if you make this Okay, so here it will be 150 into 10 power of 3 by 215. So we will get 697.67. So you can write 68 will be the area for element 2 for the section 2. Now that you can directly substitute here d2 is equal to under root of a2 4 by pi so directly you can substitute a2 is 
नाइन सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स एट इंटू फोर बाई फाइव सो अंडर रूट ऑफ द एंसर सो वील गेट ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट विल बी द डायमीटर फॉर द मिडल पोर्शन दिस वन दिस विल बी नाउ ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट मिलीमीटर सो ऑल द यूनिट्स आर इन मिलीमीटर इवन द स्ट्रेस एंग्स मॉडलर्स and dimension everything we are taking in terms of millimeter so that that is the main primary work where you have to check the unit first whether all are in meter or all are in centimeter or millimeter so if it is not there so you need to convert okay so the first one we have finished to calculate the area for the middle portion so and also diameter now we'll go for calculating the total extension okay so so total extension of the bar so that is where delta l is equal to for element 1 it is delta l1 for element 2 it is delta l2 for element 3 it is delta l3 okay so now in this equation delta l is equal to what it is pl by ae so length for the both the element for element 1 and element 3 is same okay so length for 193 is same so you can write 2 delta l for this okay either you can write delta l1 or delta l3 so let us write anything because where delta l1 is equal to delta l3 because of length is same okay so you can write delta l1 plus delta l2 2 because L1 plus L1, you will get 2 L1. Okay. So after that, here 2 into delta L is nothing but P L by A E plus again for delta L2, it is P L by A E. Now here P is common for all the uh, element, so length is different, so L1 and area is also different. So let us say a1, or you can write a3. There is no problem. And Young's modulus is also same. Now for this element also, only length will be different, and area will be different. Okay. Okay. So now we'll substitute the load that is uh, any other load is common. So we'll take 150 into 10 power of 3. This load will be common. And also, Young's modulus will be same for all the metal, so we'll take common. So, two in point zero six into ten power of five. So, what will be the remaining if you take on the load and area L by A? Okay. So, L is for the element one. It is forty five. Okay. And anyhow, this two is only related to this element only. Okay. It is not common. So, forty five into two by area. Area for the element one, uh, that is, uh, we have only diameter, so you need to calculate the area for the element one also. So for area of the element one, it is again pi by four d square. So d is fifty square. So we'll check pi into fifty square divided by four. So it is one nine six three. So one nine six three point four millimeter square. So this will be area for either one or you can say three also because the diameter is same for one and three. So here area for element one one nine six three point four plus and uh, now. This both length for the element two that is one sixty. This one divided by area for element two. Again, you need to calculate the area which is already calculated in the previously. That is six ninety seven point six eight. Okay. So now after this, uh, first you calculate this two, and in make after that this two multiplication. Okay, so one 
फोर्टी फाइव इंटू टू डिवाइडेड बाई वन नाइन सिक्स थ्री पॉइंट फोर सो वी गॉट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर फाइव प्लस वन सिक्सटी बाई सिक्स नाइन सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो वी गॉट पॉइंट टू टू सो पॉइंट टू टू प्लस पॉइंट जीरो फोर फाइव दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू सिक्स फाइव इंटू वन फिफ्टी पॉइंट टू सिक्स फाइव इंटू वन फिफ्टी इंटू टेन पॉवर ऑफ थ्री होल डिवाइडेड बाई टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स इंटू टेन पॉवर ऑफ फाइव सो वी गॉट जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन सो जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन दैट इज डेल्टा एल टोटल एक्सटेंशन जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन यू कैन राइट एच जीरो पॉइंट टू मिलीमीटर दिस इज अ टोटल एक्सटेंशन डेल्टा एल ओके सो होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके सो थैंक यू